how are you looking forward to another season? And obviously it's another season of a Bielsa pre-season, so clearly hard work for you guys at the moment. Yeah, obviously after the the, the last season, after we have a, a hard finish, uh, it's, it's difficult, no? But I think uh, after after the last game, uh, the last season when we lost, lose against Derby County, I think uh, we, we can think about the season and I think we take a lot of positive things and this is important for this season, I think. Uh, I, know, I think we have advantage this year because we know the Marcelo idea, the Marcelo style and this is advantage for us. What is a Bielsa pre-season like? It's hard, very hard, but I think uh, we know this, uh, we know we need to uh, uh, work hard uh, because the more important is arrive to the first game in the championship uh, in the right uh, way, in the right uh, fitness. And I think, uh, uh, obviously, uh, we, 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 we won't enjoy in these games against like, uh, like uh, the, the ones in the game. But the more important for, for, for us now is uh, the work uh, 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 and obviously with Marcelo it's hard but uh, we know uh, we need this. In terms of your form, you were outstanding last season and you almost have got better the older you've got. Do you think you can do it again? It's you know tough to play the way that you did. You know, the hopes would be that you would help the team do well again. I try. Uh, I don't know. Uh, obviously, I know it's difficult, uh, but I give my 100% again this year to 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 arrive to these statistics, to arrive to my best level. I know uh, it's difficult for me, but uh, I work every day for this. Uh, uh, I hope uh, I hope this because. Uh, if I can uh, arrive to this level, I can help the team to, to the target, uh, to arrive to, to the, his goal, and this is more important for me. How does your body feel? Good. Uh, obviously, I, do, I don't feel like when I, I be 25, but I, my feel is good. Uh, and uh, uh, I showed this in the last year, and I try to show this this year. As a squad, when, when you sat down at the start of pre-season and reflected on last season, what was said in terms of the lessons that you learned as a squad that will help you this season? Yes, obviously, uh, I, I tell this before, no? uh, last year uh, with Marcelo, uh, the precision is, is more hard because we don't know him, uh, we work a lot in the new style, the new ideas, but this year we know him, we know Le, like he works and this is more more easy for us and uh, we know we, na- we 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 try to to push the 100% uh, from the first day because we know uh, this is, this is uh, advantage for us uh, to arrive to 100% to to the first game in the championship so what have you got to do differently to get to the premier league is it keeping 100% all the way through the season because all of us thought you would be a premier league club standing here now Yes, uh, we know this. Uh, if we want to uh, uh, fight for come back to the Premier League again, we need to push 100% from the first day. Uh, obviously, we hope uh, this season we, we don't have um, uh, too much problem with the uh, injury play, injuries uh, because the last year we we have very bad luck uh, in this in in this uh, apart in this part of, of the of the of the of the game. And uh, we work from the first day for this, no? Uh, we know uh, we need to uh, put 100%. Uh, we need all the players. Uh, now we have two, three players injuries, but uh, we hope uh, uh, they come come with a group uh, before the, the, the start decision. How much of a shock was the departure of Pontus Janssen? He, he said you were the best player he'd ever played with. Obviously, uh, I lost a teammate, I lost a friend, but this is football. Uh, sometimes football uh, can happen this. Uh, the teams change the players, uh, some players uh, go to the other teams. Uh, I, I left this uh, in my career a lot of times. And this is football. Obviously, it's a big lose for, for us, but uh, when the other players come and obviously uh, 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 I am... Um, 
not happy because uh, uh, we lost him, but uh, this is football. No, no. I, I don't think too much in this in this now because the more important now is the, the player who stay here now and who 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 who, who, who play in the in the next uh, season for for the United. And I know, like us, you're all very tired. But how big a, a thing is Manchester United on Wednesday in terms of forgetting being tired and trying to beat the old enemy? Well, it's a big game for us, uh, for 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 them too. I think. For the club, for the fans, I think uh, we won't uh, watch this this game in the future in the Premier League, obviously. Uh, but now it's a great great moment for for enjoy this game and to to prepare uh, uh, our season against Manchester. Uh, I think it's a good moment for us. Just a final question: Do you think other teams in the Championship will have harder pre-seasons because they want to do what you want to do? You know, they might have fields of pre-season. I don't know what uh, that uh, what uh, what way uh, work the, the other teams, but uh, I think I I I think Leeds can can lose time in in think about what they do, no, what the other team do. We 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 need to uh, be focused in in our work, uh, hard work here, prepare. Uh, Good uh, the first game in the championship and uh, try to to do a, a great session, a great session for 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 the fans, for the club, and try to fight again for for go to the Premier League. Thank you very much. Thank Brilliant. You. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Let's go. Well, it seems rather strange to be sat on the top of a skyscraper talking about Leeds United in a new season, but how pleased to be back. Yeah, um, all the boys are buzzing to, to be back and, and I'm buzzing to get go. Um, obviously, it was a, a disappointing end to last season, um, one we didn't expect, but we just ourselves down and it gives us that, a bit more of a, a burning motivation in, in our time to, to go and succeed this year. How difficult was that process as a team and also personally because the Derby game didn't turn out the way you wanted it to? Um, it's different because obviously after the game you go in. You have to deal with it yourself. It, obviously, we want in training, we want seeing the lads, and it was hard work. But I think eventually you come to grips with it, and like you say, it just creates more of more of a motivation in, in yourself. And I can certainly see that in the lads. Now we're back in pre-season training; that they've got that feeling too. I was going to say you've got all the motivation to do what you didn't do this year, and it's obviously a centenary year as well. Yeah, it's a massive year for the club. Um, obviously, hundred years of Leeds United is is crazy, and um, to be part of that and to be able to. To, to captain this team through that would be unbelievable and if we could do it this year wow it would be um, a very good achievement How much of a difference is it coming back to a pre-season knowing you're going to work as hard as you did last year but not have the shock of last year? I don't want to say it's been easy but because we know what's coming you can um, prepare yourself um, the first two weeks was was a slog there was hard blisters on your feet everything just ached and once you get through that and you start to see the games, it, it sort of becomes a little bit easier. But um, I think the lads' bodies from last year was already already used to the work, accustomed to it, and and um, it, it's been very tough. It, it always is, but I think the lads are starting starting to see the light now because the games are here. How much of a surprise was the whole Pontus situation? Bearing in mind, the guy's been playing alongside him for so long. It's always a surprise, but at the end of the day, the clubs the clubs got to do what the clubs have got to do. Um, he was a great. He was a great player to play with. He was a great lad, and um, we just wish him all the best in, in his new venture. And it means a more another yeah. centre back partnership for you. I mean, how, how's that coming on in terms of uh, personnel? Is, is that something that's going to change as well? Have you been told? Has the manager talked to you about that? No, no. The, the manager would never talk to me about something like that. Um, obviously, if he'll have his options, and if he don't think they're good enough, then we won't bring players in. Um, the manager really likes the players we've got. Um, obviously, Barry can go there. Um, Luke Healy can play there and Ben White's coming from Brighton as well so I think we've got a lot of people to cover them positions and what will be will be. And in terms of Manchester United not playing them as a team for a long time and you've had an extra week of pre-season training will that make a difference? Hopefully yeah hopefully it does um, obviously everybody around the world has seen how we play how Marcelo sets us up and, and we, when, when we're at it and when, and when we play well we can be a match for any team and we know that and it'll be an entertaining game. We know Marcelo's unconventional, but he's not actually here. How, how strange is that? And, and the fact that he split the squad, 
does that create complications or do you just kind of roll with it? I think as professionals, you've just got to do your job. You, you do what you're told to do and, and that's the way it is. Um, We've got an experienced group out here and he's obviously Marcelo wants to work with the, the lads he's brought in and the lads who came back a bit later. They're sort of doing the fitness work, what we what they missed out on when we, we was there. So I think it's 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 all normal to the lads and the lads just get on with it and um, look forward to it and enjoy it. What is a BL pre-season like? What does it involve? A lot of running, a lot of timed runs, um, a lot of football. Um, I don't know if you've all heard the the ball, a murder ball session yet, but we this is what we call it. Um, it's 11 v 11, and, and it's hard work. Um, the running stats are, are through the roof, but it's all it's, it's all enjoyable. Um, the lads really take to it, and um, you can see the way we played last year. It's, um, it's certainly benefited us. Do you get home at night absolutely shattered? Yeah, and then um, I go. Sometimes I don't even get to put my little girl to bed, but. If I get home before seven o'clock, I'll put my little girl to bed and then repeat the next day and the so, next day. So seven o'clock, like map training, that like. Yeah, we have double, triple, four sessions a week, especially in the first two weeks of pre-season, and, and it's hard work. But like I said, we've become accustomed to it, and we know what we're doing, and we we do it. How much have you thought about that derby game? Have you in your mind for that that goal, that goal just before half time? That yeah. Goal? No, of course you do. Of course, of course it, it, you always think about it. But I think as a footballer, and you're in the media, you, you put you put you put your head on the line all the time. And I'm not one to go back and and try and dig up a memory that I didn't like. Um, I'd rather look forward and look to the future. And in terms of Manchester United, we know we've got massive following in Australia. We know Manchester United have got massive following in Australia. It should be. A good atmosphere and a good game. Yeah, I've seen some of the pictures from the other night. The, the, um, the stadium looks unbelievable and um, the facilities look, look different in class. The, the hotel, the setting, it's, it's all lovely. So, yeah, it's good to be here, um, but we're really looking forward to the game. Um, you want to you you test yourself against those teams and, and we're looking forward to doing that. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Cheers, Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.